guess what? I got some information for you. Trauma and PTSD. I know a lot of people are traumatized right here in Cincinnati. And we can use this information. 70% of Americans have experienced a life-threatening accident or violent assault. Later, nearly 20% of those survivors, of these survivors, experience reoccurring memories, have difficulty concentrating or sleeping. These are all symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, which is a treatable condition. For more information, call 802-296-6300 or visit the website at www.ptsd info.org and we back in the building with my brother in the house coach Nadir another king done stepped in the building and I hope you guys will be able to hear him he just doesn't have a headset you will be able to hear him so we'd like for you to introduce yourself king uh, uh, thank you for the promotion um, Rafiq Jihad uh, project manager and community engagement uh, coordinator with the Avondale Development Corporation Absolutely. So, can you tell us a, a little bit about what you do? Um, I work in the community of Avondale. Mm -hmm. Work in the community of Avondale. Yes. And um, work with residents on support services and uh, programming and things of that nature, just engaging the community and community activities. Yes. Going on. But I'm here for a different reason this evening. What's that reason, sir? Um, I know what it is, but I'm just, I want you to say it. Segue. Oh, okay, you already did that already. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here to just share information. I believe my brother Nadir uh, talked about the third annual Halal Muslim Family Day reunion, the Halal feast that uh, the Greater uh, that the Cincinnati Islamic Community Center at uh, on Global Court is uh, sponsoring this year for all Halal Muslims uh, to. Uh, Come to Cincinnati, yes, and share some food and share prayer and share uh, fellowship, and you know, just a day of um, you know gathering. And what I love most is that he said anyone's welcome. Yes. Anyone is welcome. Yeah. So it's not just for it. So that's that's good. You guys, that's opening up. That's love right there. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. We have. Um, two days of events um of course we do our juma prayer mm -hmm. on fridays um that will take place at two o'clock um and we're inviting uh, always invite everybody in the community to come and worship with us and have prayer with us on uh, friday is our sunday so mm -hmm. to speak uh, yeah. and then saturday is the halal feast at Wynton woods i guess i can tell you where um uh Wynton woods at the uh, the Sugar Gum Slope Shelter. So there will be signs, possibly balloons, um, to guide you there. And we'd love you to come out. Everything starts at 11 a.m. And uh, we're just looking forward to the community coming to uh, celebrate with us. And uh, information you can get at um, the third annual Muslim Family Day Reunion. Yes. Um, dot my event dot com. Can I repeat that? Yes. All right. Uh, third annual Muslim Family Day Reunion. Dot myvent. Dot com. Oh, yes, I had a little soprano up in there with it, but yes, thank you for giving this this information. Um, I think I'm gonna go. Please remind me. I know you're gonna keep sharing it too. I know you will. Yeah, I will. I will, will remind you uh, because you know we we gonna partner mm -hmm. with this pop up. Yes. Positive community empowerment pop-up. Yes. And, you know, probably one of the great places we can start is a community that we both know very well that helped cultivate us, uh, Avondale. Okay, because I thought you was going to say Lincoln Court. <laughs> <and us. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, my dad is from uh, Lower Home, of course, but hey. uh, we met at Avondale. And mm -hmm. uh, as we have you know, Ra Brother Rafiq, who's connected with the Avondale Community Development Corporation. So... This could be a great partnership uh, that we launch in here. Right. A community positive empowerment pop-up. Absolutely. And I don't have pamphlets or anything. I'm just coming with my voice. Yeah, we're coming with a voice. Yeah, I'm just coming with my voice. You know, so. you, you know as, you, as I was thinking about that, I was thinking about uh, a place that I was blessed to go this summer. I went to Harlem. Mm-hmm. And I was able to go to the Schomburg 
museum mm -hmm. and I, I was reading some information on a, a great leader, uh, Honorable Marcus Garvey, where he started the soapbox. Uh -huh. mm, the soapbox is where you basically you stand on a you know a wood box and, mm -hmm. and you speak yes. and, and, and reach out to the community yep. and, and talk. And um, uh, as we know, El House Militia Bias, uh, as we know as Malcolm X, mm -hmm. this is one of the uh, main places he, he spoke. Is and, and at the Schaumburg, this this location where uh, Marcus Garvey started the, the uh, soul box was kind of corner front of Schaumburg. Mm -hmm. And you know, many times Malcolm and many other leaders spoke at, at this corner uh, in Harlem. So this this would be a, a great uh, concept that I believe we could put together. We bring forth. Absolutely. Uh, you know, um, and I have some, some other ideas, but I don't want to give out ideas away. Yeah, no. I'll wait till we, you know, we kind of come together and, yeah, and, yeah, and meet yeah. on it. But this would, this would be, you know, Community Absolutely. Empowerment Pop-Up. Uh, That's going to be the title. Now, we can, we can, we can confirm, confirm that. Community, community. Empowerment Pop-Up. Pop -up. Yep, yep. And we're not, we're, we're giving love. We're not trying to make you read something because people don't like to read today. We're giving love. We'll come with some information yep. that will be empowering, that will be uh, resourceful, yep. that, uh, that our community and our youth and families can benefit from. And, 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 and when it happens, my brothers and sisters, kings and queens, you got to have that ear open. You got to get past your offense and you got to get, you have to listen. You know, we all have to do it. I've had to get past offense. And you know what? So you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes you don't want to admit those things in front of people because you want to be all strong and tough. Go in the bathroom if you got to look in the mirror at yourself and say, you know what? He or she is right. It is what it is. Sometimes you just have to admit it. If you are, I don't even want to say you're not a good parent, but if you're not a good parent, it is what it is. Let me take you to the side and, and talk to you about it. I don't even want to, I don't want to put you on front street. I, you're not going to listen to me that way anyway. Let's talk about it. And I'm not telling you what to do. Since I'm wise, I'm giving you some advice. I'm rather walk that. Sharing information. I'm sharing information. Mm -hmm. Wealth of information. information. Yes. And I think uh, from a parental standpoint, um, we see what our parents showed us. Yes. Now we're experiencing a generation whose parents were close to them in age and not providing that guidance that... Um, you know, I think was prevalent in the community. Yes. You know, three houses up, up the street, if you got in trouble, you was getting it before, on the way down the street when you got in the house. That's right. And that parent took you to your right. mom. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And he your was mom was rocked grateful. over the bridge or whatever. Yeah, just, you know, whatever. Just a little stuff that we thought was fun, but it wasn't fun when you think about the circumstances. And now our kids don't think about the circumstances None. of the decisions that they make. Um, you know, and it's the community is suffering oh a great from deal. you know that um what's being displayed social media wise information gets out faster than it did before yes, yes um right in front of your very eyes yes certain times of the community that you where you you know might just drive by and see what's happening where you work and you see the other side that doesn't get addressed from nine to five right it's just it's a, a lot of systemic things or things that are becoming systemic or you can, I think you can chop, put it in any bucket. Yeah. But it all leads back to the same pail of water. It leads. What you doing there? What yes. you doing there? It's, did you want to say something? It's, leadership has died. But see, uh, we got to stop saying that. Okay. Leadership is us. Right. So we, we have, we've been, we've been conditioned to look at leadership as this individual who's at the top of the hill mm -hmm. and looking down on us. We are the leaders. Leader, leadership is us. It we got to quit saying leadership died. Leadership is us. But we don't remember back in the day, like a, like you said, a child could be outside late and the adults, what you doing out here? Right. Going in the house. So, but, but see right there, those individuals who made us go in the house were leaders. Mm -hmm. See, they wasn't saying, well, your mama ain't raised you to be in the house at this time. That's mm -hmm. a shame. That's kind of the attitude we have now. We have to stop saying leadership died. No, it didn't. We are the leaders. We got to yeah. stop looking for somebody on the top of the hill. Yeah, we the leaders. I am the leader. We the leaders. 
Yeah. I'm not waiting on nobody to leave me. I'm leaving myself. Right.